how to survive biome one with zero deaths, zero restarts, restarts. In this video playthrough, I will showcase the best tips, strategy, and gaming approach required to achieve that said objective. Right, Returnal is a game where you have to strategize. You just can't go running around like a headless chicken and dying ever so often. So my objective here is to ensure that you survive with zero deaths, okay. zero restarts. And if you follow this as exactly as I do, I am guaranteeing that you will achieve the same outcome. The decisions you make in this game has repercussions in the end. For every action, there is a consequence. So you have to make your decisions, be very selective and really plan your approach. All about strategizing and making the best of each run if you should die. My objective is to stay alive as long as I can, leveling up my weapons and unlocking permanent traits. And even so if I do die, when I pick these weapons up at a later stage, they will have a permanent unlock trait. The idea here is to ensure keep that overload. It comes with the boss. There you go. Just make sure you hit that successful overload. Trust me, it it helps. Swing the odds in your favor. This is your default weapon. Game is all about calculated risk. Risk equal reward. You have to risk it for the biscuit. And hopefully not choke or asphyxiate on said biscuit. <laughs> If you don't plan or strategize, you'll be running around biome one like a headless chicken. For progression, you have to plan ahead and of course making the right decisions. This is what I will be here to show you in this tutorial. You have to wait for him to charge or make the move. I would like to take this key. Should I take this key? This is what we're talking about, calculated risk. I believe this is a low probability let's see what will end up happening here. while in mid-air weapon damage is reduced by 50 percent so that's like jumping you know uh, we don't jump and shoot here i'll show you what i'm talking about and you there's a quick fix for that malfunction we just have to use two consumables and we will be able to repair the malfunction discovered piled corpses of a xenotype species, likely the architects of these ruins. These could be the sentience that broadcast the white shadow signal. Okay guys, we're almost there to battle that titan ops. To escape. I know a lot of you guys have died. I'm always brought back by... And this particular point, I was wondering if it was... Encountered hostile prey. So you wait for him to make the move. There you go. Make the move. Dash and let move. Let's let him make the move. Make the move. You see what I'm talking about? There you go. Use the wall. I wasn't supposed to go there. See? Let's keep dashing. That's my mistake, my bad. You almost have it. Simple, simple, very easy to defeat. My bad, I tried to anticipate his movement. And you have to make him come to you first and then dash away. Very easy to defeat, very easy to defeat. So we have passed this stage where most of you have died. 
you all have been resuming back, respawning back to your the Helios crash site. New technology discovered. Augments my weapon with my So that's our alternative fire. Highly effective. This will be useful. Yeah, it adds some power. Secondary power. Alternate fire. Keep making sure. Oh my lord, make sure. Sure, we don't die here. Now. That one looks so st stupid. Okay, cool. I saw one up here. There you go. Take him out. Take him out. What he actually has to back. I'm missing the reload, man. Come on. Don't die here. Alright. Simple stage. Simple stage. Shouldn't be you shouldn't die here either. But guys, if you stick to my actual strategy here and gaming approach, I guarantee you. You will survive by one with zero deaths, zero restarts. Which overall is less frustrating. But by now I know you guys probably would have died by that first battle with the Titan Ops. I am sure a lot of you will have lost your life there. Again, we will have to return here because we need to get the um, Atropian Blade or Lightsaber. Alright, that, that's better than nothing. Alright, so we'll have to come back here and again use the Atropian Blade. So forward, never backward, never. Let's go. I think this is where we will get our first assault rifle. And that's right, the old reliable, old faithful Thakiomatic carbine. Trust me, I, it's my favorite weapon. And we're going to unlock the permanent traits as much as we can by staying a alive. Go. Let's go, let's go. Discovered a massive wall beyond which is the white shadow signal. I can't cross the chasm. We need the um For now, I'll change objectives and investigate the energy reading in the forest. Scout log We need the grapple hook. Right, and the only way we're gonna get that, we have to defeat Ixia. That is by um, two boss. That's in the Crimson Wasteland. But first, we have to deal with Frike. And in order to defeat Frike, we have to level up this carbine to the max proficiency that we can. And get the astronaut figurine to collect that. With that run, when we pass the house, collect the house key. And of course, we need to increase our suit integrity. But that's our primary objectives right now. That is what, we, that is our plan of action. Okay, so let's get this. Get rid of these. Alright, I believe they have Got him? Alright. That's the immediate immediate threat. Imminent threat. You gotta get rid of that so that it'll make things a little easier for you guys. There we go. Why is 
what we're talking about. That's why I love this tachyomatic carbine. It's very trustworthy and all reliable. Again, our next primary objective is to gain 6 ether. Whether we take it from the Avenging Fallen Scouts, I do implore you guys to do that. That's a means of getting your ether. It's not an easy task, but it's in the game as I said earlier on risk equal rewards this is your respawn beacon so if for some reason let's say we battle in Frike it's an extra life and instead of when we die and we respawn back at the crash site location by Helios we will now return to here once we activate this and we will be returned with whatever weapons we have procured the proficiency levels and what all resources and consumables you don't lose anything so it's pretty cool i highly recommend that you find the eater by avenging the fallen scouts deaths like which we're going to do right now another suit detected so that's how you know there's a fallen scout in the area and we're going to avenge his or her death and that gains us ether In here that's what we have to do all right we have to come back here too with the um atropian blade where is the fallen skull okay the same signal so detected got it so you see that we got four ether for our efforts plus we get some weapons and some consumables let's see what we got all right, look at that. We got a selfie on vial, and we're gonna use that now. So you see, risk equal rewards. That's what I always say. Like I said, our objective is to get two more ether, avenge one more scout, fallen scout, and we will be able to go back to the reconstructor, set up our respawn beacon. One more. There you go. Oh my lord, how did I fall down there? Lucky I didn't fall in the pit. What is this? Shocking springs. Alright, we'll hold on to it for now. I don't really like it. Waste of time. My books. Okay, let's see what we got here. Now, this is malignant. Treasure chest. We don't want to waste our ether on that. Like I told you, our objective is to get and avenge one more fallen scout so we can um, get enough eater to power up the respawn beacon the reconstructor that's what it's all about that is the plan of action right now Hey, awesome film. Always welcome. All right, so we go this way. There we go. We have to come back here when we get the um. I think we're gonna get that right now. The Atropian blade. There we go. Wow, over lights. You want to collect as much over lights as you can. All right, this is again. We're gonna save our ether. Told you what is the plan of action already. We don't want to waste it on anything else. We're gonna avenge one more fallen scout. Power up that reconstructor, that respawn beacon. This is a secondary measure, huh? Alright, let's go take that off the body. Alright, so we're going this way now. So our plan of action is to also get our suit integrity, which equates to life to almost double. Like probably anything over 165%. 
close to 200%. That is what we're looking for. Okay, we have to go back now. Up. Right. Up. Use the translocator device now. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that look at that. I will call the aim but Alright, we did okay, we did okay. Again guys, I highly recommend if you guys do not play FPF shooters and are not accustomed, I don't think you should try to play this game. You have to have some serious skills to play this game. Because the developers of this game definitely have made it very difficult for you to progress and the more times you die the harder it becomes to progress in this game you will be stuck like a headless chicken run around in biome one everything has to have a plan you have to strategize before you move forward Right, so our first objective here. Discovered xenotype technology that produces other devices. All those other fabricators, the sulfium vial, the enhanced calibrator, all fire protection, all those nothing. Don't waste your money on that. This is what we're going and aiming for. Suit integrity. Increased by 25%. What's our stats now? Let's see. We have now increased our suit integrity by 125%. Could have been more than that. Every time we do that, we collect an artifact. What is this? Hey, oh, reflex stimulant? Hell no. Way. And I used it. My god. Oh, that was the shocking spring. Oh, we have to come back here anyway, so we could hold on to that. Let's see what again we can carry. We don't want to buy anything yet. We're going to collect the... We're going to collect now the... Um, Atropian Blade. Or my lightsaber. Oh lord, here's Senior Group. Here he comes. It's three of them. Let's keep moving, keep moving. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Let's keep moving. It's three. Oh uh, yes. Uh, guys, we have to two now. Watch these chasms here. You can fall and die. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. They're coming. I call them senior roots. <laughs> Oh lord, one was right there. Oh lord, one right there. Man. Take some shot. Oh, uh, that's two down. I guess there were only two. We got them. We got them. Nice. Always try to land your shots. Look at that. Now we have enough ether to go back to the fabricator, the respawn beacon and power it up. So if something should go wrong, we make a bad decision or a poor decision. We don't have to restart the game all over from the beginning where we would have lost all the progress we have made. Look at that. We are at the our starter. Our suit integrity. Well, I mean, we just lost some in the battle there. We were at 135. Our weapon proficiency is already at level 2 and increasing. So we would lose all that. Plus, we would lose all these 6 Eater we are carrying now. 
the two atropian keys and their obelisk the resources so we do have to come back and backtrack anyway so let's just check out what is in here all right this is just the archives and for the full this is just tutorial we don't really need to delve into that look at that we got a level two Horizontal barrage, I'm a PSN. Alright, so we already have the critical hit. We have already unlocked one permanent trait. So we're good to go. We have to backtrack anyway, so we're going, moving forward. Alright, we don't know what happens here when we pull this gun. Okay, let's see what's over here. These are iffy. But let's see what they have. I don't know if we'll be lucky to get something really good. Let's see what it is. What's the parasite? Find salvage more um from hostiles more often. Drop obelites disappear one second faster. It's not so bad. At least we guaranteed to get something salvage from down enemies or hostiles we pull this i believe let's get go get the knife the atropian blade first of course this looks like a <laughs> yeah, something big in the foreground there there you go Keep moving. Hey, he dropped down already? I didn't realize that. He's on the ground there now. What? Wild wow, like crab, boy. Oh, Lord, you see? I got him, I got him. I was careless. Look at that. Now we Takiomatic Carbine level 3. We still have to unlock the armor piercing, so the more we play with this, The more we use this gun, definitely. That is that trade is going to unlock. There you go. What is this? Reduces malfunction for every hello. No no no. Wow, look at stuff here. We need to unlock those two traits. We definitely have to come back here again too. Yep. Alright, that's two. We're going good, we're going good. Oh, watch it. Oh my lord. Better watch, be careful of those things. How quiet and silent the places get. <laughs> That's nice. So we have to come back when we collect the Atropian Brigade. Backtrack. And we get some Sylphium and stuff, which will help with our overall suit integrity. When we get the grapple hook after defeating Ixion, we'll be able to reach those high places. What is this? Sedating wire tail reduces malfunction probability. One additional re kill required to increase adrenaline levels. Alright, we could probably take that up for the up and coming malfunctions. Lower their probability. Did I, can I collect one here? No, that's inside. So we definitely have to come back here. Alright, let's go. My light supposed to be somewhere here. Okay. What are you doing, bro? This way. There you go. 
because we don't have the Okay, with the Atropian Blade. There are strange psychological encounters I've had with what can only be described as visual echoes of previous deaths. At first I avoided them, but I needed to know. When I follow these echoes, they lead to a corpse. I don't feel surprised anymore. Now it's a clinical choice. Yes. We'll take, we'll take the damage. Them. The damage siphon. And let's see if we have it. Let's wanna make sure. The cube. Damage siphon. Right. That is better one to carry from now. That helps later on in the game. Yep, come on, come on. Right through this door here. Yeah. Inside, they want to go by with that. They can only carry one at a time. Leeching Nano Swarm Data Cube. Alright, you know, I've never, since I've my run throughs, I've never seen one of these. So I will take that over the siphon. The siphon, um, data cube. Alright, hey, cool and I will. Alright. There's the house. We're gonna collect the keys. So that we can get the astronaut figurine. Alright, so, so far, so good. This is where you should be at this point in the game if you haven't died from your first run at the very first start of the game. Oh god, this is going to be trouble. Oh, watch it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Where, where is he? There you go. Secured and all our styles have been eliminated. That is the only time. You know what I mean? That is when you're free to salvage and run. See, so we have unlocked two permanent weapon traits for this tachymatic carbine critical hit and armor piercing. So we're doing well, we're doing very well. Let's see what's happening here. Modification sphere, yes. Let me use the shocking spring first. Is this two? Hell no, we don't want that. Alright, hold on. I've seen one still hiding. Sylphium. One and welcome. I've seen it as one. And there's a suit here again. There's a suit. See the nastiness, boy. Wow. 
All right, downstairs. Too many people out here. Okay. What is this? Ay ay ay! Again, guys. I have been asking this. Those of you who know me from on Twitch, well, I've always been asking for these two. One of these two parasites. Caustic needle tooth. It increases or repair efficiencies by twenty percent. And the only bad thing about this, it leaves a pool of acid upon death. So you have to be very careful. But that's an awesome buff. And the debuff is not as it's not too bad. Should I come in here with my um Remember the bullets here infinite ammo so Let's try to make this thing quick. So it's either the caustic needle tooth or the lethargic slow stitch. And there's another one too, I just can't remember its name. Those are the ones, those are the parasites you definitely want to have with you. But that's like an extra life. Your proficiency level only goes down by no lower than 25%. So that's something pretty awesome to have to rupture and start shatter skin. Surviving a killing blow detaches afterwards but greatly reduces max integrity on the touch. I don't know, you don't want to do that. You don't be left like a, a crab without its shell. That's not cool. What's this? Oh look at this. Mal Malignian Sylphium malfunction probability moderate. Yeah, we'll take that. Loss over lights. Lose over lights when suffering damage. That's not bad. We can live with that. So I tell you guys, this game is all about risk equal rewards, but calculated risks. And to every action, there is consequence. So you have to be very selective and you have to prepare for the battles ahead. That's what makes this game. It's about management, guys. That's what this game is all about. The way to defeat this game, you have to be managed. And so look at this. Tracker Swarm, Shock Steam, Shock Stream. That's all right. We'll keep level three. It's all right. Oh, forward. There's a suit here. Should we avenge the death? Not really required because we have the six eater required for the um, powering up of the uh, reconstructor. Sorry, the reconstructor, the respawn beacon. Okay, so right here is look at that. This is where we have to go on battle fright after we get the um, uh, Thema key. The vault, unlock the vault is up there. That's where we battle fright key. And that's where we get the crimson key to unlock. Yeah, so we don't really need to battle or avenge the scout's death. Right? So let's focus on our main objective. Let's go. We're going to find the house key, which will also give us access to the astronaut figurine. And again, this looks like a serious place here now. Oh, Lord. Seen it. I the Titan I'm coming through there. I've seen it. Oh Lord, move, move, move. And the area is on lockdown. So it's Titan Ops and Senior Boot. Wow. Ooh, keep moving, keep moving. I have the key to survive, all right. Keep moving. Ooh, I didn't see him. Ooh, oi, you see? I don't want to turn it's vicious. Alright, cool. We have life, we have life, we don't worry. We're good, we're good. He's right there. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. There we go. I 
alright, we alright, we alright. No need to panic. And we're just dealing with this guy here, we're good to go. Dead as a downhill, man. Simple matters. Easy, breezy, peasy cover girl. Always look to take out the imminent threat. That senior Groot, just keep moving from the Titan ups. The senior Groot, the tree like organism, that is what we want. I call him senior Groot. That is the one that you need to take out because if you try to battle with him on your heels as well as the Titan up, you're going to lose that battle. And sometimes they'll be like three against you alone. All right, look at that. We're still good. We're still good. We have the Tachyomatic Carbine tree, level three. But we're doing well, we're doing okay. Again, if we had the grapple hook, we've been able to collect that sylphium there. Just making sure we have everything. I think this is where we get this one the battle before we find the house key. Then we go and we collect the astronaut figurine. So we'll have two extra lives. We'll have the we'll activate and power up the respawn beacon, the reconstructor, and then we'll have the astronaut figurine. So that's like two extra lives. And the next, the next um, primary objective is to increase our suit integrity even more. So I guess that's it for here, right? We don't have anything more to collect here. All right, we have two of these side parts here. Let's see. Every action has a consequence, right? And then be very careful, very, very careful. Is the stupid mistakes or the bad decisions or poor decisions we make in the game is what costs us. The difference what makes the difference between moving and surviving and dying. It's three. Wow, well, I didn't realize that. One, two, three. Alright, hold on. Now let me see. You got this? Come over here. I think this is where we get our house key. That's it. That's right. So let's go pick up. The astronaut figurine. Got a backtrack. Here we go. There we go. This is where we pick up the um, Atropian blade. Nice. Get some mobilized here again. Here. So we need to backtrack. So we're going back. We backtracking. We backtracking. All the way back to the house. This suit integrity increase. Oh, don't jump off there, man. I think we have one more key. Oh, no more. Yes, we do. What is this? Repairs augment increases repair efficiency by 25%. What's the price of it? Oh lord, it's free. That was free. Going in, collect the astronaut figure. actually remove this malfunction when we pick up this first artifact here here we go and the malfunction has been removed so now we have an extra life and we're gonna have two now because we're going all the way back to that reconstructor right outside the door here and backtrack all the way back to the reconstructor there you go that is why the right here Oh, there it is. Oh, my. Right there. I know it has something to... There it was. Nice. So we backtracking and we taking up what we couldn't access because we didn't have the blade. Atropium blade. Now we have it. Collecting all that we can. We gotta go back up there. Nope. We gotta go back. Look at right there. The reconstructor is right there. So we have to get in this pipe part here, right here. So nice, we're gonna activate this now. Insert these the device with a sentient shaped imprint. Oh. Conducting field test. So we activating this now, so we have like two extra lives. This is a respawn beacon. 
if we battling <laughs> bosses or whoever and we are about to die it will take us back right here right and um we will come back with everything all our weapons all our weapon all resources and consumables so it's not bad it's not a bad idea that's why i utilize the avenging the dead scouts to get the eater available to um, power up that reconstructor constructor sorry it's not a snake it's a reconstructor <laughs> all right so the next plan of action is backtrack again right here Let's see if we can pick up anything that might be useful for us. What is this? Reflex stimulant. Not really bad. Yes, you remember today we had that saving that for later. What do we have again? What we can pick up before we battle Friki? That will be of use for us. Alright. Uh, you know you can only carry one thing at a time. So maybe this large sylphium vial yeah we'll go with that all right we can always come back and the enhanced calibrator we have what all fire protection gain 10 percent protection while all fire is recharging and what is this other one recharging over mm, all right let's take both of them These are artifacts. Uh, we're short of uh, a penny. So we're ready to battle Friki, man. We're just going and get the Anathema key, which is right here. Alright, uh, there's the key. We're very much prepared for battle here, now. We're very much prepared for battle. Where is that? Oh wow. We're very much prepared. What's the pool of that? What's the pool of that? We collect something here again? Right. I always said this game is all about risk equal rewards. Calculated risk equal rewards i will keep saying it over and over you have to take the risk so now we're going out to battle my boy friki and uh, what best place to do that right here yeah so look at what we have accomplished guys this is our first run zero deaths which equals zero restarts our suit integrity, let's check our status, is 145%. Our weapon proficiency is 3. We have the astronaut figurine. Right. And what again? We have a large sylphium vial. And we have the respawn beacon activated. So we are good to go. The chances of us not making it pass fee is negligible the odds are hugely in our favor we really battle ready here no besides that i forgot right being of the 145 percent suit integrity we also have the caustic needle too so even so when we die the level doesn't i mean you don't die it keeps repair efficiency by 20 percent so we always have that 20 percent suit integrity plus we have the astronaut figurine plus we have a large sylphium vial backup like the astronaut figurine there weapon level proficiency three and we have the reconstructor the respawn beacon on a power up and waiting so we good to go man we really good to go that is what we talk about 
having a plan of action. Oh Lord, it's still on one there? I thought he dead. I'm dead now. What's the pool of that? What's the acid pool of that? Make sure this guy don't see you. Alright. And we're going into the vault. Wait. Anytime in the heat of the battle, if things go wrong, we losing life and we are about to think, we have the Sylphium vial. So we keep in those back up as a last resort, which is the reconstructor, the respawn beacon, and the astronaut figurine. We don't want that to auto trigger. So we have to pay very close attention to that when we're battling fry key. All right, guys. Observe.
Bye bye, Frikey. It's easy, guys. You just stay on the outside of the outer perimeter and we take him out. So all we lost there was the sulfium vial. And I mean, I could have beat him without even losing any life, but you know it is when you're performing. So we got the crimson key. So let's recheck our stats here now. In our first run, zero deaths, zero restart. Look at our status. We still have the two parasites, three parasites. Most importantly, the one we really is the caustic needle tooth. That increases repair efficiency by 20%. But I think Reconstructor. The re sorry, the Reconstructor, which is the respawn. So we have accomplished our second objective, which is the Crimson Key. So we can proceed now to Biome 2 to go and defeat Ixion, which is the Biome 2 boss. And we have not died. So first things first, we want to deposit the data cube we have. That we found in biome 1. I want to see what it is. We get a reward. Wow, what did we get? Let's see, one item unlocked. What is this? Okay, so a leeching nano swarm unleashes a swarm of monobots that attack nearby hostiles, slowing them down and repairing integrity, you see? Again, guys, you learn something new every time you play this game. So, of course, we'll pick that up. And we can pick up this one here. Put this in this data cube processor. Let's see what we're going to unlock again. What did, you, what did we get? Alright, an unfed pod. It grants 20% stagger power for each attached parasite. Right, so again guys, as you have actually seen in this playthrough tutorial, if you stick to these guidelines, the tips I have provided, the gaming approach, and the it's a game, risk equal rewards. It's all about the calculated risk you take. And all these affect you later down in your playthrough. So we have managed to have zero deaths, zero restarts with one playthrough. So again, guys, if you do enjoy this content, feel free to comment down in the sections down below to see what more tutorials that you think I should be uploading onto this channel. And of course, if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, feel free to hit that like button smash the subscribe button it helps the channel to grow and definitely ring that notification bell so that you can be alerted every time i upload more ps5 content here on this channel do have a great day guys and i promise you you follow this tutorial this guide just the way I play it, and you will achieve similar results. Zero deaths, zero restarts. Retro Gamers 40, out.